So I came up with a thing called taking souls in my book. I started to devise ways to break a soul of a human being, of, a, of an object, of, of, of whatever's in front of me. If you keep on attacking something, nothing wants to stand in front of anything that is relentless. Nothing. The taking soul part of the book is really interesting because uh, you talked about like the, the mind shift that you had when you were in Buds. Yes, sir. Yeah, that was a, that's an intense part of the book. It's, it is. Uh, that's when a lot of stuff started clicking, man. I start watching those instructors on the side. Cause, you know, there's there's three shifts. There's eight instructors, three shifts. Cause you know, the guys going through through Hell Week, they're up all day and all night for 130 hours. This is the promised land of mental hardening for me. I love this place. And you have the instructors who who you know they've been there, done that. Now they're instructing you. So they do their eight hour shift. They have their parkas on. It's usually cold coffee, drinking their coffee, and they're beating the crap out of us. And when I started realizing, I started playing mind games. And I was like, you know what? I bet these fuckers are looking at us, judging themselves about when they were going through Hell Week. About, let me see, I'm looking at Goggins right now. I was better than him. I was better than that guy. I was better than that fucker over there. And I was like, okay, okay. You're going to judge me, right? <laughs> All right. So that's what I'm going to do to you. So what I started doing was I got my boat crew, boat crew two. It's in the book. It's a great, great story. I said, come here, guys. You can't break boat crew two. You can't break boat crew two. <laughs> so it's Wednesday, it's Wednesday, and everybody's broken. Everybody's beat up, man. And, and like this, I mean, you start moving like a robot. Everybody's like just kind of just trying to get through Helwick now and your energy zapped and they know Wednesday's like that over the hump I love that you talked about that in the book too that they put it in your head. That oh, yeah. Wednesday. You're gonna be tired Oh, yeah, and that's another thing they they tell you how you're supposed to feel So you are feeling that way. I was like, uh, don't let these motherfuckers tell you how you're supposed to feel No, it's day one motherfucker. This is our one. So I was getting my boat crew all jacked up I said we're gonna take these motherfuckers souls so when they had us doing this simple thing that guys are struggling with, Boku 2 was just launching the fucking boat and you're yelling, yeah, you can't fucking hurt us. Can't hurt Boku 2. And I looked on the instructor's faces and it looked like someone had just fucked with their soul. And I looked at my guys in my boat crew and I said, hey, guess what? Those motherfuckers aren't fucking tonight. We <laughs> own space in their fucking head. We own space. They're going to think about us tonight. They're going to think about how the you're fuck. You're killing boners. That's right. 